On the Health Watch tonight, five people in Maryland have developed severe lung illnesses in the last two months after using e-cigarettes and vaping, according to health officials. This comes as the CDC is investigating nearly 200 cases around the country, including cases in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on this growing problem. It really is, guys. You know, these lung illnesses are mainly harming young adults, and there have been some concerns this is related to the riskier practice of vaping marijuana oil rather than nicotine, but that's still being investigated. E-cigarettes are mainly promoted to help adults switch from regular cigarettes. Vaping is promoted as a safer alternative when in reality it's not. 20-year-old Alexander Mitchell of Utah used to vape daily. He developed acute respiratory syndrome last month and ended up on life support. I'm at 25% diminished lung capacity now. I think it's crazy how fast it escalated. The CDC says it's looking into 193 potential cases of severe lung disease linked to the use of e-cigarettes in at least 22 states. Some as benign as coughing, headaches, shortness of breath, but others more serious with um, lung collapse, respiratory failure, uh, need for mechanical ventilation, and some of those more severe things. And a new study in JAMA says a growing number of middle school and high school students, about a third, are exposed to secondhand e-cigarette aerosols from being around people who vape. Worrisome for the category, worrisome for us. As the number of cases continues to grow, the head of the most popular e-cigarette company calls the reports worrisome. In his first broadcast interview, Juul Labs CEO Kevin Burns said on CBS this morning that the company is in contact with the CDC. If there was any indication that there was an adverse health condition related to our product, I think we'd take very swift action associated with it. Now, investigators have not identified any specific product or compound that is linked to all of the cases. So far, it appears that an infectious disease is not the principal cause of this illness. And, you know, an important reminder, vaping has become so popular in high schools. Mm. Kids are headed back to high school. Important mm -hmm. reminder, it's dangerous. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Just you know, watch it really that report is. and just, wow, it's all about awareness and education. That was part of it right there. Thank mm -hmm. you, Stephanie.